The notion that Aaron Taylor Johnson should take over as James Bond after Pierce Brosnan has given his blessing. There have been rumors circulating that novelist Ian Fleming had considered Taylor Johnson, 33, for the role of his ultra-suave British spy. Goldeneye in 1995 and Die Another Day in 2002 were the four films in which Brosnan, now 79, shot to international superstardom as James Bond. Now, as fervent conjecture swirls around the possibility that Taylor Johnson may win the part, Brosnan has kindly extended his support. RT Radio 1 was informed by the entertainment star that he would absolutely tip my hat to the fellow for the role of 007. The icon collaborated with Taylor Johnson on the 2009 film The Greatest. On the Ray Darcy show, Brosnan continued, I think the man has the chops, the talent, and the charisma to play Bond, very much so. Producing The Greatest, in which he and Susan Sarandon played a married couple mourning the loss of their teenage son, Taylor Johnson, was Brosnan's role. When Brosnan reflected on the movie, he said Taylor Johnson was the greatest in it. Together with Susan Sarandon, Aaron and Carey Mulligan, and me, it's a beautiful film. Be bold, is Brosnan's advice to Taylor Johnson on taking on the legendary role. Step outside. Enjoy yourself immensely. Simply adore it. Just take a chance. You're capable of it. Following a prosperous stint on the television series Remington Steel, Brosnan's role as James Bond made him a household figure throughout the world. His debut performance was in the 1995 film Goldeneye. He then starred in Tomorrow Never Dies, 1997, The World Is Not Enough, 1999, and Die Another Day, 2002. Four years later, Daniel Craig began his own explosive career spanning five films with his iconic debut as 007 in Casino Royale. Following Craig's withdrawal from the job, Taylor Johnson seems to be the frontrunner to take Craig's place as the ideal heartthrob. Additionally endorsing Taylor Johnson for the role of Bond in the 1969 film on Her Majesty's Secret Service is George Lazenby. According to Lazenby, who spoke with TMZ, he thought Taylor Johnson could portray Bond's tough edge while also being attractive to women and skilled at the necessary stunt work. The comments follow the news that Taylor Johnson may be committing to four Bond movies following endless discussions with executives, who, according to insiders, are hopeful he can succeed Daniel Craig in bringing the brand into the modern era with a fantasy twist. It has been stated that Taylor Johnson has received an official offer to portray James Bond, and there have already been significant efforts made by bosses to obtain his services. Insiders believe that costume fittings for Aaron have already begun, and producer Barbara Broccoli, 63, is not taking any further offers. It's all in the details and agents and lawyers are sorting through all the red tape and figuring out how many movies Aaron will sign on to. They've already completed all the fittings, they have the haircut they want for him, and he looks amazing. It looks like a three-picture deal with a fourth option. The Insider claims that the announcement will be widely publicized by Barbara Broccoli and the other producers. George Lazenby, 84, Timothy Dalton, 78, Pierce Brosnan, 70, and Daniel, 56, are among the living members of the Bond cast who will be invited to attend the event in order to pass on the torch. They all want this to be one of the biggest announcements ever. They claimed, adding that they plan to begin filming early in 2019 and have a film in theaters by 2026. Bond executives are trying to expand the cherished franchise into a new genre in addition to going all out for the much-awaited official cast announcement. The source went on. They would prefer it to be a little more of a fantasy, with over-the-top action and interesting and iconic bad guys, and not as real as Daniel Craig's films were. There is a definite plan, and Aaron has had countless conversations. They want to steer it more toward the tone of the Pierce Brosnan films, acknowledging the beloved moments from Bond's history but yet adding moments to advance the movie. They have no desire for anyone else. The kick-ass actor is reportedly close to signing a contract to replace Daniel as the lead spy. Daniel withdrew from the role after his swan song in the 2021 blockbuster No Time to Die. 
This information was first published earlier this week. When asked about the allegations earlier this month, Aaron played it cool, telling Numero magazine, I find it charming and wonderful that people see me in that role. It is a huge compliment to me. Even though Idris Elba is 51 years old, which is ancient for a Bond contender, and has already declared himself out of the competition to concentrate on his crime thriller Luther, a recent poll indicated that he is still the public's top pick to succeed Daniel. It was claimed back in August 2022 that he had turned down the renowned part after years of talks with the movie bosses. Idris said last July that the thought of portraying Bond used to super compliment him and that it was the pinnacle. However, as he said to Variety, he felt put off when those who weren't happy about the idea made the whole thing disgusting and off-putting because it became about race. I took the brunt of it as it turned into foolishness. Michael Fassbender, meanwhile, has also ruled himself out, stating that he believed a younger star needed to play the part. In response to a question from GQ magazine, the 46-year-old actor responded, To be honest, no. Aaron has not yet formally accepted the position, but once he does, he will join the ranks of actors who have portrayed the renowned British Secret Service agent since the franchise's inception in 1962. As a child, the Golden Globe-winning actor co-starred with Richard Harris in The Apocalypse. In The Fall Guy, he plays a well-known action hero who goes missing alongside Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. This is one of his three future big-budget movies. Additionally, he will be seen in the eagerly awaited Robert Eggers remake of the 1922 gothic horror film Nisferatu, which stars Willem Dafoe, Bill Skarsgård, Nicholas Holt, and Lily Rose Depp. However, Aaron's most anticipated part will see him return to the superhero genre in Craven the Hunter, the fifth installment in Sony's Spider-Man universe. He previously won Best Supporting Actor at the Golden Globes for Nocturnal Animals, and he is up for two BAFTA nominations. Aaron reportedly finished a screen test with Bond supervisor Barbara at Pinewood Studios in March of last year. Barbara has stated unequivocally that she wants the next actor to play the role for a quarter of a century. Aside from acting, the significant age difference between Aaron and his spouse has piqued public curiosity about their private lives. In June 2012, he was married to Sam Taylor Johnson, 57. Their kids, Romy Hero, 11, and Wilder Ray, 13, are theirs. With her ex-husband Jay Jopling, director of Fifty Shades of Grey Sam also has two elder daughters, Angelica, 26, and Jesse, 17. The pair, who met while filming Sam's 2009 film Nowhere Boy, which she directed at the age of 42 and Aaron at the age of 18, has generated controversy since they welcomed their first daughter Wilda the following year.